Once you click on the link in the Google Classroom for sites.google.com, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Um, I would prefer that you create your website in what is called the new Google Sites um, because that uses CSS and it will adjust the layout for different types of devices that access. In the Sites section or the new Sites section in the lower right hand corner, there's going to be the red plus button and you click on that and go ahead and give your website a name. So when it first loads, I believe it'll load with Untitled. Uh, you can go ahead and add in the title of your website there. Um, it is initially incorporated into the URL, so make sure, as always, that you keep your site name school appropriate. And I'm going to name mine Digital Portfolio. So this is the main screen or the home screen of your website. And to begin today, I'm going to have you create two pages. One page will be for your vocabulary for the class and the second page will be your digital portfolio. You're welcome to create additional pages for any of your interests, um, whether it's horses or cars or some hobbies that you have for sports or school. Um, you can go ahead and add those as separate pages as well. So when I click on the pages in the middle and then the plus button down at the bottom, it creates a new page. I'm going to call one of those pages portfolio. And then I'm going to call the other page vocabulary. Notice when I do that, um, it does put a title up at the top, um, but you can actually go in and edit that as well. Okay. okay, so I now have two web pages that are created, or technically three. You have the, the home page, the portfolio page, and the vocabulary page. Um, at a later date, we're going to go in and add some of your projects onto the portfolio page. But for today, I would just like you to work on creating some of your uh, vocabulary terms and, and putting them in one location. That was my Labradoodle Penny, who is very excited that you guys will be working on vocabulary on your website today. So next, uh, when you go to your vocabulary page, when you look at where it says insert, you can choose some formats. Um, there's various formats that are predefined for you under layouts, like photos with two columns and text underneath, um, or you can just insert text boxes and images separately and decide how you would like your layout to look. It is entirely up to you um, how you would like to design your site. Uh, for now, I will just be creating a text box and I'll probably make that two separate text boxes so I can set one up at the top for video editing terms and then one down at the bottom for your um, HTML or, or website terms. Okay, so you should have um, some video editing terms that are listed on Google Classroom and the post for today. Um, the web development terms are in the presentation and you can read the pre through the presentation and then just copy over the terms and explain them in your own words. So that would be what I'd like you to work on today. If you have extra time, you are more than welcome to go back to those pages and click on plus and add any other personal pages you would like. Uh, tomorrow, we will be working on creating a custom header um, or a banner here, and that's this top section here. So you'll be uh, creating your own banner so that you can make it a little bit more personal. You are welcome to go over to the themes and kind of look at some of the different options that are available, uh, and it will definitely change the look and the feel of your website rather quickly. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, I will try to be on my email today and I will definitely answer your questions when I return tomorrow. Good luck and have some fun.